Hi, I'm David, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my Predator generator I just bought. I'm going to be doing an unboxing, setting it up, and getting it started. And I'm going to do everything by the book. Starting from step one, installing the wheels. And you have these holes right here. You put the axle in, put the nut on the back. I got a 17 millimeter socket, a three quarter to hold this so it doesn't spin. You gotta do the same thing on the other side. Unfortunately, I don't have enough room to use my ratchet. Just do this about 9,000 times. Now I can put on the big washer. Now you have a 13 millimeter nut right here. I just tighten that one down. Next thing on the list is these two feet. There's a bracket right under here for them. Let's see. And make sure you tighten all these bolts. I'm not really sure why that's like that, but I have two 12 millimeters and two 13s, and then I have this one left over. Unless those two 12s were for the wheels, I don't really care. Alright, on those bolts it does show that they have different part numbers than the wheel, the nuts for the wheel versus the ones for the stands, but I'd rather have the bigger ones on the wheels anyway. They have the same thread, it's just some the one of them is just bigger. Last but not least, the carrying handle. Well no, it's not even last, but it's the last of the of whatever you call it. Stuff that doesn't have to do with the engine. I'm just going to put these bolts in real quick. Alright, so we got a new size here. These are 10 millimeters. Just tighten this down real quick. We got 
the handle right here. Make sure you tighten all this stuff getting snug. Alright. So now I figured out what this is for. This is to lock the handle in place. Alright, so now you got these yellow things, these yellow brackets, under here, it's on the same side as the pull start. It says to lay it on its side and take them off, but I don't think that's necessary. I'll just lay on my side and take them off. Now it's time to put the oil in it. It has a plug under here. Let's take it out. They give you a nice funnel to use. I'm putting 1030 in there because that's what it says to use if you're in a warmer climate or whatever. So that was one quart. And hopefully that was another tenth. I just poured a little bit. I barely poured any of the second one. Oh no. It's full. Okay, I, I, I double checked that. It does say that, not to screw it in when you check it. And that's a high mark and that's a low mark. So maybe you don't really want it all the way to the very top. So I just tip it and let a little bit more out. I don't know, it's right in, it's it's right in this area. It's not over here, so I'm good with that. So yeah, maybe just check it as soon as you pour one quart, because maybe in the direction that's like metric quarts or something, because I, I barely poured any of the second one. Yeah, I probably, actually I probably did pour a little bit too much, obviously. That was kind of dumb, but whatever. All right, and the instructions, it doesn't even say nothing about this, but you have two little electrical leads, a red and a black, and Uh-oh. Which one was red and which one? <laughs> Ew. Okay, I feel dumb now. This actually has it positive and negative. But yeah, I didn't want to get that wrong. It says turn ESC off before you start it. 
Okay, so let me hook the battery up. I have two and a half gallons, and an ounce of stable in it, stable. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I have to turn the fuel on, pull out the chunk, turn ESC off, and start it. So I already had the generator running for about five minutes and I'm at the end of the video right now and later on I'll do like a follow-up video on, on testing it out using my welder and different stuff like that. I'm still waiting on my plug to come in, my adapter plug and also I need to read more about the proper break-in procedures and um, yeah I want to do everything by the book so that way it lasts as long as possible. Anyway so if you found this video helpful or entertaining please like and subscribe.